Praise the name of the Lord, Shalom family. Once again, you're welcome. Welcome to this amazing, great, awesome, word, awesome session. It's your friend and your sister, Dr. Irene, and I bring you a timely word from the Lord. I pray and I appreciate all those that are coming in for their first time and probably you're a returning viewer, returning subscriber. God bless you amazingly. Do you always know by whenever we do a new video upload? Like I said, this word is a timely word, and the Lord sent it for you. Hallelujah. Let's all go ahead and like the video, and God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus. Now, the Lord said I should give you this word. He says, the thing, you know, someone thinks they made you, and so they own you. <laughs> it's quite funny. They think they made you and so they own you. You know, it's God that makes men. It's God that lifts men up. No matter the key role that somebody plays in your life to make you reach the height or the level where you are, it's God. It's still God that made you and it's God that lifted you up. And so, all glory and all honor has to be given to God. And your life still has to depend on God and not on the person. Hallelujah. Now I see this person because one thing you should notice that when God, I always say this, when God asks someone along your path to be a helper to you, you know, to work with you, to link you, to connect you, it is not just for your own advantage. It's a privilege that God has given that person to offer services unto him. Hallelujah. To offer services unto the Lord. He said, for whatsoever you do to the least of my brethren, that you are doing it unto me. So it's an opportunity that they had to offer services unto the Lord. I'm not saying that when somebody helps you to get to somewhere in life, you should not appreciate the person and be thankful to the person. No, you should do that. But don't feel indebted and let nobody make you to remain bound in the chains of indebtedness like because they help you to get to where you are. Now you are you are you become a, like they made you and so they own you. They have to make decisions concerning your life and all of that. They also break away from that yoke break away from that slavery. It is not his plan for you. It is not his purpose for you. Evaluate it. Be thankful to the person, but don't stay indebted. It is a form of slavery. Break away from it in the name of Jesus. I pray this word is going to lead and guide you to make the right choices. God bless you and shalom.